Take a look now at cocoa prices hitting a record as the commodity breaks above the $10,000 mark for the first time. Move higher in prices comes as cocoa faces supply constraint. Let's let's chat cocoa, Akiko, for a second. Um, so this has just been a red hot rally. What is going on here? Apparently, we got poor crops in West African growers. Um, and so per Bloomberg, we could be looking at a third straight annual supply deficit. Mm. Higher chocolate prices, right? That's right. That's well, going to get a lot of people's attention. For sure. And I guess it sounds like from what I'm reading, other growers like Brazil and Ecuador, you're kind of trying to hopefully ramping up production. But obviously, that's not just like, you know, a switch you can flip, right? Yeah, that's going to be a big concern, especially with some of these brands. And here with more on how this is affecting confection makers, let's bring in Yahoo Finance's Brooke De Palma. Brooke, I know you've been talking to some of these companies. What are you hearing about how this is going to affect prices? Yeah, good afternoon, Akiko. Well, confection makers like Hershey's and Mondelez are really looking to navigate the impact of higher ingredient costs, particularly cocoa. And one analyst actually downgraded shares of Hershey's, citing the recent surge of cocoa that was once expected to be transitory, well, could now be here to stay. Another expert telling Yahoo Finance it will likely be a couple of years of elevated prices due to the particular life cycle and weather conditions needed for these cocoa trees to mass produce and thrive. And both companies, though, are preparing for this lingering impact. In a call, Hershey's CEO told investors that cocoa is expected to limit earnings growth this year and plans to use every tool in its toolbox, like pricing, believe it or not, to manage this headwind. While Mondelez shared a similar anecdote and reportedly could change the size of its packaging. And of course, we've been hearing so much about that, what many call shrinkflation. And now with Easter, the third biggest candy occasion in the U.S., Right around the corner, U.S. retailers like Kroger and Target plan to offer even bigger discounts compared to last year and more frequent promotions on some of the most popular treats this time of year. And according to recent insight from DataWeave, consumers can expect discounts on these iconic brands this time of year like Cadbury, like Reese's, Hershey's, as well as M&M's, among others, as U.S. retailers look to avoid this glut of inventory that could potentially happen if consumers pull back and say, hey, we're not paying that high a price when it comes to these Easter treats. Okay, Brooke De Palma bringing us that story. Thanks so much.